Now we are discussing a topic that is DTE and DCE. Actually DTE and DCE is an interface. So we can say that it is like an interface and out of that we are having DTE which stands for data terminal equipment and DCE which stands for data circuit terminating equipment. Now these are very technical terms and to understand these terms I have made one diagram and with the help of one uh, layman example I will tell you and explain this thing very easily. Now let's see this diagram DTE assuming that we are having the mind. So mind is going to process all the signals. Now assume that I am a person who want to communicate and this is the air in between and this is another person to whom I want to communicate. So first of all you must know that DT is the person who is going to communicate and who is having a mind. So first of all my mind is going to process the signal. Here in the DTE the signals are processed. My mind is going to give the signals to the mouth. Now those signals are taken care by the mouth and I am speaking to you. Those mouth signals are going via the air and going to the another person and another person is having the ear. Now these ear are hearing all the data which I have communicated and they have given to the mind and mind is going to process. So by taking this example I can make you clear what is the functionality of DTE and DCE. Assuming that on the other side now the person is going to communicate. So let us suppose that you are the person so your mind is going to work. Let us suppose that you are the person B and I am the person A to whom you want to communicate. Now your mind is going to process some reply and you are sending that reply with the help of your mouth. So you have spoken something. Now with the help of air that data is coming to me and at this side there is a ear who is going to process that means my ear are going to hear what you have said and this is given to my mind and similar was the process we have gone with the earlier my mind send the data with my mouth and my mouth is given to the air and that data is given to the your ear and your ear are going to give to the mind and mind is going to process that. So that is the example I have taken. That means DTE is some type of person who is having the powers to understand. DC is a person who is going to communicate just like my mouth and ear. Mouth and ear cannot process the data. They can only communicate. So that is all about the DTE and DC. Now out of that we are taking all the technical terms. As I already said DT is a person or the device who is going to work with the data understand the data. Now let's take the example in the real life because we are learning networking we are not learning the theory. So who are those devices let us suppose that computer or we can say that the printer or the fax machine. So these are the DTE that means from computer to computer communication or maybe computer to printer communication or maybe printer to printer communication or computer to fax machine communication. All communication comes under the DTE and DCE interfaces and out of that computer printer and fax machines act like the DTE. Now what is the DCE? All the modulators which we are using. So we can say that the modulator or the demodulator that we are using modulator to modulate the signals demodulate to demodulate the signals. Maybe at one side we are using modulator on the other side we are using the demodulator. So here also we are having the modulator and demodulator. So we can say that DTE are all the devices which are majorly for the communication that are computer printer and fax machines. DCE are the devices which are only transmitting the data 
they are not understanding which are modulator and the demodulator a network you guys you already know which is a combination of various network devices like uh, router switch hub bridge so this is the network now we are straight away coming to the topic and we are discussing into the detail dte and the dce so firstly we are starting with the dte now dte stands for data terminal equipment so that is the form of dte we can write in the short dte so what is the dte any source or the destination because we cannot say that only the source i am sending only no i can receive also so source or destination means i can perform the two functions sending and receiving so source and destination device with work on digital data that is important so all those devices which are working on the digital data comes under the dte so dte is a device source or the destination means sender or receiver that work on the digital data and we know that these devices are computer printer fax machine second thing is dte generate data means the data is generated and pass to dce with necessary controls means just like our mind mind is sending the data to the mouth with the controls means mouth should be having the control while speaking the data similarly dte device like computer printer and fax machine they give the data to the dce means modulator and demodulator and they are going to send the data further with some of the controls control means how much data we have to send what is the speed of that data so all those controls are sent with the dte so now we are going to discuss about the dce so next one dce now that dc is having the full form which is said data circuit terminating that is a single term circuit terminating equipment well equipment is a term which is used for the devices so in the short form we can say that it is called the dce if i talk about the dce so that is a device or which is used for transmit transmit means sending if i am if i am the sender then obviously i will transmit or receive if i am the receiver then i will receive data in analog or digital that is important dt is only going to generate the data in digital form but dc can send the data in analog or the digital both ways so not a problem dc can work with analog and digital data and it can send through network because dc is having the part of sending to the network so that is the purpose of dce and we know that the examples of dce are modulator demodulator these are the examples now talking about the second thing dce convert signal to appropriate appropriate means which is properly required in appropriate transmission format now you assume that the dte has given the signals to dce now dc is having the power to convert the signal to the appropriate transmission format means let us suppose i am talking through the air now in the air that much format is required so i will send through that or maybe i am sending through the wire so what is the format required so dc is having the purpose to convert the signal into the proper format which is required and the next thing about the dc is that sending and receiving dce means while you are sending or while you are receiving through the dce must use same modulation method there are various modulation methods just like we are having the frequency division or maybe the phase division right so 
through that if you are sending maybe you are sending in a proper modulation method so i should also be having the same method it is not like you are working on frequency and i am working on some other method no that is not possible means if both the dcs are working they should be sending on the same method so let us suppose that this is the dce x and this is the dce y so they should be having the same particular modulation method both should be agree on the same method and they should send the data so what we have learned from the dce and dte interface is that dte is some kind of computer printer and fax machine which is going to generate the data and that data is into the digital form now this data is given to the dce and dc is what it is the modulator or demodulator which is going to send the data to the another dce which will further give to the another computer printer or fax machine and then next thing we have learned is both the dce which are sender and receiver should be having the same modulation method and whatever the conversion is required that will be done through the dce so this is all about the dte and dce interface